Hello everyone. Welcome to Mool Dhimla channel. Today we are going to see how the member journey in terms of uh, your community uh, housing members or your housing association members or your apartment members when they use WP apartment how uh, system will work for them how it will look once they log in. So let's dive in uh, and please do subscribe to our channel uh, at Mool Dhimla. So once you once a member logs in in WP apartment, they will see the dashboard. The dashboard shows them the calendar, the invoices, the complaints that they have raised, or the services that they have requested, facilities in the housing association or in your society or a community neighborhood, uh, notices, messages, events. All this related to this particular member who have logged in as a David Smith would appear in dashboard, and then we can see the residential units. So right now we have see, shown them uh, the complete data uh, through the access site. Otherwise, if it is own data, we can only just show their own units. But right now, this particular member has access to a lot of data, so they can see the whole data of the building. Uh, so you can control with access site what kind of data you can see. So as a as a member, you can also see your own details. So over here, David Smith will see that own general data, invoice, complaints, document, facility, their book, notice, events, messages in the menu. Then they will see the building information and the invoices and their own documents for that particular unit. They will be able to see under user management what are the staff members. The staff members would be typically the people who maintain the housing association, kind of, you know, your data -day plumbers and things, or maybe the admin staff kind of thing, right? So those details will be appearing they have on the detail page. You might also have the accountant who will keep track of all the expenses and the incomes that's been done through the, uh, you know, the maintenance charges uh, the, the, from the member. So the accountant is useful there. Gatekeeper uh, would be the security people who will manage the visitors uh, that comes in and goes out. So all ins and out would be managed by the gatekeeper. So gatekeeper user role is very important. Then you have the committee member, which is more like your president, your treasurer, your vice president, and things like that, depending on the structure you are having in the organization, uh, in your housing association. So the committee member would be a normal member, but they would have some more, more rights, uh, and this could be easily assigned. Uh, then you might also have the documents, uh, that is particularly for your own units, so A101 is a unit that this particular member has occupied and all the documents related to that is appearing over here in the documents so this is very important place where you know uh, the president or the committee will store documents for each individual members maybe it's that uh, you know uh, housing uh, ownership documents or maybe their uh, council uh, taxes and documents or things like that those will be added over here so we'll just add some document over here uh, as a sample. And once this document is added, uh, this will be assigned to A101, which is the unit that uh, this particular member occupies as David Smith. And you know, as you can see, we have just added a document, it appears in the list. Now we can just go and see the complaints. So any member in the housing association can raise a complaint, like you know, if your electricity has uh, is broken or if your plumbing issue or this a landscaping issue around the house or some other issue uh, gutters or anything like that can be added over here as a complaint uh, and you can also do the suggestion so sometimes you know you just want to make suggestion that you know we should have uh, a common area uh, uh, clean then you know or we might be common area beautified uh, those are the things that you can add as a suggestion so over here we are just going to make one suggestion and you know this suggestion can also be categorized so parking security water issue so you know if there are different people handles different kind of areas uh, this could be useful the category feature it can be individual suggestion or it can be the compound related so common facility related suggestion uh, that would be our wiki so that is also very useful so we are saying the lip needs to be clean uh, this is for everyone so it's a common problem and then this complaint can be added uh, as a suggestion uh, we have just added it and it is appearing over here on the list so and this complaint then will be handled by the people in the committee they will see this complaint they will assign to someone 
Now let's just see the parking management. So every unit in a society or in a complex uh, can have their own parking uh, slot. And this is the parking slot assigned to these two members. Uh, then we also have the visitor request. So this particular member might have few visitors in the last few days. Their check-in time, check-out time, their name, their vehicle details, everything can be captured with the simple form. So this is a list. They can, the member himself, can also add a visitor so that you know whenever the visitor comes at the gate, there is a gatekeeper who will see uh, the request and they can approve it. Uh, and there are uh, notifications and notices. So you know if there is any event happening or we can say the parking area maintenance is happening, we can announce those notices so people know that this will be closed for some sort of thing. You can also have the event like you know if someone is having a, a small party and using a common facilities, they can also announce an event. Uh, and you know we can also have the individual messages. So here. A member can send message to another member or to the committee or to the staff member so that's one-to-one -one messaging or one-to-many messaging available uh, in the system for members is usually one-to-one -one messaging then you can also have the service and facilities so plumbing services or laundry services electric repair services sometimes this will be paid so and there will be designated people who will handle these services uh, so that we have the list over here member can see if they have an electricity problem they can call Alex or someone and so uh, sort out the electricity problem then you can also have the common facilities like swimming pool or a golf club or a parking area or a banquet so these kind of facility would be maintained over here if it is paid you can always add a charge for that charge can be by hour or by day so whole day charges or by hour charges you can define the charges over here and once uh, a member books a facility, depending on by hour or by date, the invoice can be generated. So we'll just add one facility over here. So we have just added one facility, uh, Gene Club, uh, with the amount and hourly base system. If someone books the uh, facility, then you, know, you can also have the available or book status. So it's easy to understand, and we we are uh, we can prevent the duplicate booking. Uh, so you can see the booking facility uh, approval status means the committee has approved the booking so they might be able to collect the payment as well and that's how they change the status so you know you can also so we just create a gym uh, and you know, so we can add the swimming maybe and then you know we can book activity uh, gym uh, and maybe we can go with the single day or multiple date event so you know and that depending on uh, the cost the day uh, per day cost this would come up uh, as, as, a, as a service fees so we just added the uh, booking so now you know so $500 per day charges would be converted into the invoices later on we can just go in account and see the invoice that's been generated so single day charge was 500 so depending on you know five days or something like that or three days uh, the amount has been coming to five one thousand five hundred seventy five payment can be done as well uh, by the member to the paypal so these are put the paypal over here yeah, so we are now on PayPal. We can just log in and do the payment uh, using PayPal. So that's the invoices. Then we have assets and inventory. Before that, we can just see how the detail invoice looks like. So this is how invoice detail page looks like, where you know all the details of the housing association. You can also print this invoice. You can also convert to PDF. All the detail charges comes up. There was a tax amount that was added, uh, so $75 was added as a tax. Uh, so that's also a very good useful feature, uh, taxation. You can now go to your sets and inventory. So assets will be some instruments that we have purchased in gym, like you know your cardio instruments or your dumbbells, your bench press, things like that, would be your inventory, your assets. Uh, whenever there is a new inventory coming up, you can add those uh, inventory and you know it will be added to assets. Uh, then you can also run reports like you know how many uh, members you have in the building or how many units are empty how many units are occupied and things like that so 
this will be very useful feature to uh, for the committee to get the details how many uh, invoices was generated and how much payment has been received or the income expense reports so those kind of data can be easily fetched through the system uh, obviously there are some limited access to the members over here so they can only see a few things uh, whereas the committee members and admin can see a lot of other things uh, you can also run the report for complaints like how many complaints were these last month this month or due, particular duration and so this way you know you can see the effectiveness of uh, the, the complaint resolution as well and obviously, I mean, as a member, you want to change your profile details, your passwords, uh, your address details, and things like that. That can be easily changed over here. So, and the photographs as well for the member: the first name, last name, middle name, the contact details, the mobile number. Everything can be changed from here. So, email is unique to the system. Email can't be changed, but the rest of the other details can be easily changed. Now, let's see the other section. Uh, so this is very important the FAQ you know you might have some standard FAQs in the society when does the garbage collection of facility uh, uh, timing or when does the you know uh, the yearly maintenance comes up or things like that or what are the rules to use a swimming pool those sort of things can be used over here uh, defined in FAQ and society rules and you might also have the picture gallery where you know any common events that you have done maybe you know, it's a Christmas if it's a Diwali, you can also upload the pictures of it and those pictures will be available to all the members to download and use it for, for their pur uh, personal purposes. So this is again, let's go and dashboard. Yeah, so that's how the member journey would look like in WP apartment uh, management system. It's the ideal system if you have a housing association or a neighborhood or a society or an apartment complex you can always use this system so that members can avail all the facility that you have uh, in your uh, society thanks for watching the video today and do subscribe to our channel thank you